Much of Kenya's cultural history is lost to time. Welcome to the Nandi culture. This documentary is an attempt to share stories and traditions of the Nandi, a subcommunity of the Kalenjin ethnic group in Kenya, in order to create awareness of the history and culture of the Nandi community to the current and to the future generations. The stories and traditions of the Nandi are fascinating. Many of the cultural practices are still embraced today. A morning with the cows. The economic pursuits of the Nandi is mainly livestock keeping. See here, where we, it's a zero grazing where we keep our dairy cows. And it's, uh, it's feeding time now in the morning. Before we go for breakfast, the cows will have been fed. Uh, they have already been milked at, uh, at, at 5 o'clock and uh, the milk has been taken at 6 by the person who buys the milk to go and sell it in town. As you see, they are, they are being fed now, they are eating uh, what we Call a total mixed ration. Uh, the mixing, if you, as you see there, that's the mixing of the total mixed ration. These cows are kept under zero grazing so that they can be more productive, they can be fed well, and uh, they are both a pride for a colony to have cows, and they are an economic resource. Um, it is unthinkable for any colony to family, not, not to have cows. And so we have, we have grown with them since we were young. We saw our parents looking after them, and we have taken after. Even if you have one profession, you must uh, have cows. Um, they are an economic resource as well, because we sell the milk, and, uh, and we get uh, income. They are also um, a social resource, uh, as I will explain to you later. Uh, culturally, when your son um, gets married, you have to pay down. You have to you do that through cows. You don't pay cash. You, you, you pay down. Um, it's also um, a source of food for the family. Uh, we drink a lot of milk. The mursik, which is fermented milk with charcoal from a specific plant which is believed to be medicinal, is their common known drink. They mainly store the mursik in the gourds, known as sotets. As a disinfectant when you have burnt it, and um, it also acts as a scent giver to, you know, it gives a scent to the milk. So, this is what I'm doing. We call it inandi. The sweet sotet. This is the sotet. In English, it is the gourd. Once it has been decorated, but before decoration, it is um, just a calabash where you find it in every other community. Women in the Nandi community make decorated calabashes known as sotets, which they store mursik with. A special stick known as a sosiot is used to mix the milk and the hot charcoal to make the mursik. Although sometimes the sosiot can be used for disciplinary purposes. And then after that, this fly whisk is not a, a big one where you find um, the men are using to, to, sh to do ceremonies and the like. This is just for finer cleaning this to remove the finer dust. And that is it. This is after cleaning, when I want to keep the milk inside here. So once we have finished the milk that is inside here, when, when the milk is depleted, um, we are going to use this here. It's called sociot. To There are two of them. There is one to clean, which is brushed, which is like a brush here. It's just like the brush that you use for the traditional brush for your teeth. So you use that one now to wash with water and um, there's a certain leaf which 
you pick it has a scent and it's also a bit rough then you just clean the gourd with it and leave it in the sun for a short time so this was yet there's one for cleaning and there's one for final crushing the maka or the charcoal that's what you do like that and then you put the hot hot um, stick again that is it this is uh, the traditional <coughs> nandi outfit the only difference is this has more beads and the nandi traditional outfits used to have round you know like a round a circle of beads circle of beads on the lower lower side lower middle side of the skirt now we have more beads so we we, we go with the trend of trying to have more to have uh, to, to be more decorated like everybody else now you cannot wear this every every day like in the house or doing other things um you have this for special locations and this was one of those special locations where you need to show how we used to live otherwise it's for the festive season it's for going to ceremonies say the role of women apart from bringing up children and looking after the home uh, is um, looking after the property that was the role of women that time and it still is because women did not go to school much uh, so they looked after property they looked after house looked after children and um, just became good mothers good wives uh, during the birth of a child because um, there were no hospitals every woman had to learn how to be a midwife because any girl or woman maybe would be caught in a situation of childbirth in a very uh, in a situation where they would not be there, there would be not no person to to help her so every woman had to learn that and what i had a woman worked with the implements which she would if she met somebody a lady who wanted to deliver she would be able to help you know a razor blade or a, a knife so that they could cut the umbilical cord of the baby and um, initiation ceremony of the boys <laughs> the woman will not really have a role um, during that initiation can i bring in english slappers yes, yes yes can i stay like this The ceremonies of the Nandi or the Kalenjin community in general are called the Tundo. Their rites of passage such as initiation for the males and marriage are taken very seriously. The, the woman who the one to cook, 
Indeed, they do shit. They touch shit. <laughs> Initiation ceremony. During their ceremonial practice, the men chant and sing while the women scream and shout the names of the initiates to give them courage before the actual initiation. This is the Chiptilet, the initiation of a voice to adulthood. The Tarshik are the initiates in the Nandi community. And in the morning when the, the synodate is being given, they hang on you that you, you, it's entwined, kind of. So they hang on you that synodate. Then after that, now you come home, so you put it on, on your rooftop to show that there was a celebration. That there is a celebration here. This film shares the Nandi practices to encourage culture preservation. Although, some cultural practices have been abolished, such as female circumcision, which is no longer permitted in the country. 